hey guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome for the first time basically i've been learning korean for roughly two years and i seem to think i've gained enough experience in this field and today i'm going to share my valuable wisdom with you guys enjoy first off i use the website howtostudykorean.com and I honestly think it's one of the best websites for learning Korean. The website is divided into different units and lessons depending on what level you are in your Korean. The lessons are extremely detailed and organized with vocabulary and sample sentences that come with audio files. There are also some detailed explanation of some vocabulary to give you a better understanding of the words. The website is completely free to access on the web and if you are interested in PDF files, you just have to pay a little extra for it. There are also a few Anja lessons available on the website if you are interested. The website also offers mini tests at the end of a number of lessons to test you on what you've learned. For the same reason, there are also workbooks available on the website for sale. He also offers some short stories to practice your reading skills and up your vocabulary. And don't worry, they come with English translations as well as explanations of some difficult terms. And once again, you just have to pay a little extra for the files. And if you're not an English speaker, the website is also available in different other languages like French, Italian, Spanish, and some others. When I just began learning Korean, I used the app Duolingo but eventually stopped because the learning method felt extremely repetitive to me. I still however use the app for practice from time to time. I also tried Elu Talk because it was often recommended, but because I knew almost no Korean back then, it was really hard to actually communicate with people. Plus most times, since they would want to learn English, they would want to speak it, and I would want to speak Korean, so we just clashed and didn't work out. The time difference was an issue as well. When it comes to my notebooks, I don't use special ones, just this art cover notebook, another notebook not in this footage, and this biology note I didn't use back in school. I don't have the fancy pen I used for studying. So this is my pen from Topic. Whenever I study Korean, I like to study in a very comfortable environment. I just set up my notebooks, my laptop and a pen and usually I have a snack with me so I don't get hungry and use it as an excuse to stop studying. I also usually have music playing at a low volume next to me just to make me happy while I study. Then usually, before I begin studying something new, I just revise and go through whatever I've learned recently, just so I don't forget. Then I go on the How to Study Korean website to pick a lesson for the day. Back in the day, I used to take the lessons in order, but recently, I just pick a lesson that either sounds really cool to me or that I've been meaning to learn. After picking a lesson, I just read through and jot down useful, important points that I think I need to remember in my notebook. Over the years, my note taking has gotten less fancier. I just jot down what I need and section them by titles or grammatical structure. I also star, circle or highlight with a pen or pencil some extremely important points or sections I find really difficult. I also usually write out a few sample sentences with translations in each lesson. I use this. This is my vocabulary. I don't have a special vocabulary learning method. I just get them from each lesson and write them out. It helps that the website provides easy explanations for their vocabulary. Also, if I come across a word I don't know while reading or watching something in Korean, I search up the meaning and just write it out in my notebook. I also like to read out sample sentences because they help me memorize vocabulary faster. 
For my vocabulary notes, I just write out the available vocabulary for a lesson on the website, my notebook, with their meanings right next to them. If I see the need for a more detailed explanation or the word as an irregular pronunciation, I write it right next to it as well. I divide my vocabulary into nouns, verbs, passive verbs, adjectives and adverbs as on the website. Back in the day, I also had a habit of taking up the vocabulary I knew, but I don't do that these days. I also love reading vocabulary and sample sentences out loud to practice my speaking and because it helps me remember them. Since we're on the topic of K-pop, let's move to another important tool in learning Korean, entertainment. You would be surprised how much Korean you could learn from listening to K-pop songs, observing their lyrics and their meanings, to variety shows and to V-lives. I find V-lives especially helpful because they all talk naturally and sometimes before subs arrive, I can just try to watch and see if I understand. Then there's web dramas which are readily available on YouTube with subs available in different languages on like a million channels with different varieties of web dramas from different genres and I just think they help to get comfortable with the language. There's also some Korean dramas available on YouTube and obviously there are many available on different Korean drama sites. Another thing I do is watch Korean YouTubers or YouTubers learning Korean. I learn a lot of vocabulary used in everyday life and same situations and also get really comfortable with the language. They usually have subs available in both English and Korean and sometimes even in other languages as well. I also sometimes write out what they say in videos and use it for my Korean speaking practice. <laughs> I also sometimes make up random paragraphs in English and try to translate them to Korean and then use them for my speaking practice. Another thing I really ignored for my first year learning Korean was practicing past topic questions. Whether or not you're actually planning on taking the exam at the moment, it just helps to know the language in a sort of professional way. The questions for many years are available online and come with answers, audio files and transcripts for the listening portion of the exam, which can also do a lot for your Korean listening skills. Another thing is I try to learn little by little a few times a week instead of a lot at once every two months. And since I'm quite forgetful, I often say reminders on my phone to help me. I recommend this for people who are forgetful and easily distracted like me. And finally, the most important tip is to be patient. You are not going to be fluent overnight. It's going to take months, maybe even years. And even after some time, we might still be just like Joey. Je m'appelle Claude. Je te coupe plow. <laughs> you just have to be patient and dedicated, and I assure you, you'll get there. And that's all I have for today. I feel like all our study Korean videos go like this, but I still hope this somehow helped you even the slightest bit. So if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any tips for me, I would love it since I am still learning Korean. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, my lovers. Bye.